pepper, garlic, a little bit of pink salt, and of course, uh, New Orleans, K. Jones seasoning. Let's go ahead and uh, get to it. We have a nice unboiled coated chicken breast. We're going to use the two picks to actually staple uh, down. You want to get a nice cut. Boom. And such. Boom. Stay with me. Boom. So you see how we have a nice split? So basically we just split open the breast without fully committing. Let's go ahead and get our oil. Nice little oil coat. Boom. Let's go ahead and flip it. Don't be messing like me with your toothpicks. You might want to move it over to the side. Go ahead and oil that nice and get it nice and moist. Go ahead and flip that back over. Now here comes the fun part. Let's go ahead and grab some spinach. Boom. Nice and easy. And such. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a pepper. We're going to devein, I guess, DC these peppers. Do some not want to be super super hot but you want a small kick and all we got to do is literally car boom and car you can even get a spoon to make it easier and scoop that seed right out and people don't understand that the spices actually come from the seeds itself we're going to lay these flat on there You can dice them, or you can do the long way, the easy way, which I'm doing. Boom. Almost there. You can layer it however you choose. Now we have this fresh tomato. It's, if it's on a cutting board, it's perfectly fine. Helps with the mess. We have a nice red, white right, tomato. So we're gonna make thin slices. And put that right on top. Nice little thin slice as such. Now we have Gouda cheese. Literally, we're gonna peel that. Just to so. You know, we're really gonna let that nice cheese melt from those peppers and that spinach. Almost as if we were making a sandwich. We got another real quick, guys. Stay with me. Go ahead, if you have not already, uh, cut your oven on 350, preheat it, and have a hot cast iron skillet waiting. Now we're gonna grab a pepper. A little bit of garlic. Literally a pinch of pink salt. And of course, a little Cajun seasoning. We're gonna use a folding method. You can use your hand or to make it a lot easier. You can grab a wooden or a plastic spatula. I'll be using a wooden, sir. You wanna overlap that and push it in as if you were making a sub and such. Now, the fun part comes in. Before we season that, let's go ahead and grab our toothpicks. Yes, it's okay to puncture the meat. I'm very aware. Boom. See that, guys? Grab another toothpick. You can use as many as you, many as you want. You want to hold all the flavor and all those juices in, and the cheese, the tomatoes, and the spinach. Don't be afraid to grab it. I was about to say a, a, a joke with Trump, but he's not a, a favorite of mine, so we're just gonna keep Trump jokes out of this. Grab the bother. 
You know what? Let's go ahead and banana cook it. You want to get it, don't put it so close to the edge because you got to keep in mind uh, we're going to parent shape these chicken breasts and a lot of that's going to shrink, which is a good thing. Now we can finish add our rest of our seasonings. seasoning. So let's go ahead and put a little pepper on that. More garlic. A little Cajun. It's going to help with the blackening. Let's go ahead and flip that. If you notice, I didn't put any more salt on there. Heavy pepper. And garlic. And there you have it. See you guys in just a bit. Meet me at the stove top. I'm gonna go ahead and get these two breasts prepared. See you guys in a bit. Guys, we're back. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at this. We got our nice chicken breast stuff ready to go, all prepared for the hot pan sear skillet. Uh, we're gonna put these two and a half minutes on each side just to get a nice uh, crispy uh, sear. And they're going to the oven 350 for approximately 15 to 17 minutes. Guys, we got a nice hot skillet. Boom, let's go ahead and add those chicken breasts. Be careful with the pop. Yeah. Go ahead and start our stop watch. Be ready for the flip on the two minute and 45 second mark. Guys, it's about that time. Let's go ahead and do this flip. Nice and easy. Perfect, perfect, perfect crust. Perfect. It's all about that crust, guys. Yes, Lord. There we go. Going in the oven on the five minute and 45 second mark. Hey, guys, these are ready for the oven. That oil is nice and distributed. Go ahead and put that in the oven. Go ahead and start the timer. 15 to 17 minutes. Hey guys, we're back. I almost burnt my hand messing around. Go ahead and get in that right there. Go ahead and take out our two picks. I'm gonna burn my hand. Go ahead, we did a yellow rice, spinach, and tomato. Mm -hmm. We're gonna pair that on that. Let's move this to the side. Hey guys, go ahead and move the rest of your toothpicks. Ooh, let's go ahead and cut into that. Oh man, look at that, guys. Mm -mm. Hey guys, check that out. Morse, juicy, tender chicken breast. So you have stuffed chicken on a bit of yellow rice with sauteed spinach with a tomato. Look at the morse come out of that chicken breast. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe as much as I'm about to enjoy it. See you guys next time. Let go and as always, blessings.